Hi, so I'm going to talk about assessment for this oral explanation. Uh, so essentially assessment is to take a test and for a class or for the state. Um, but assessments are very good for students and also for teachers because it evaluates where students are with the material that they're obviously taking the test on. Uh, it helps the teacher figure out where their students are, but it also helps the teacher figure out if maybe they need to work on their teaching skills or if they need to slow down on information or maybe speed things up. So I think that assessments are very important to learning. Uh, however, testing can be very difficult for some people, such as I am a terrible test taker. Uh, which is another reason why I'm an English major, but uh, I honestly, I think tests are very stressful. I think that even though I may do poorly on a test does not mean that that has any effect on my knowledge whatsoever. Uh, it just means that not do well uh, on a lot of things. Uh, there's also like this idea that I have to do better than everybody else, which I think a lot of students feel. So they have to meet this benchmark that is set up. Um, however, I do know that teachers do not judge students off of... Most teachers don't judge students off of test taking. And if they do really well on homework, for example, or participating in class, but they do terrible on tests. Uh, just some students are not very good test takers. Um, and I think as a teacher, you shouldn't uh, judge students on, you know, if they get a low grade on a test, but they do well on everything else. Um, I think maybe at that point you should not do like your your standardized like multiple choice short essay uh, format of a test. Maybe if students, some most students in your class are really bad at taking tests, so maybe you could do like a collaborative project or um, informal debates or, you know, focus on their participation and then will help boost grades. Uh, I also think it's important to give students a rubric before a test or for presentations, informal debates, so then students know what they're getting themselves into, what they need to focus on, such as um, informal debates, they should know that they need to participate and actually contribute to the discussion instead of saying, oh yes, I agree, and then sitting back and then not, you know, really doing anything about it. So, <coughs> excuse me, um, I think overall uh, assessments such as all the, all the ones I listed, informal debates, uh, presentations, collaborative projects, I think they're all very, very important um, because it it's helpful to the teacher, but it's also helpful to the student themselves because if they realize, hey, I don't really know this that well, I should probably get help or I should probably really, really look at this better. So even though assessments are very stressful, uh, I know a lot of people are not very good at taking tests, so... Uh, I think they're an overall good thing. Uh, the PSSAs are happening, or still happening, I'm not sure. Uh, they're over a two-week span, I'm pretty sure. So, <coughs> excuse me. Um, my kids in my ASAP program, <coughs> they, after, you know, Tuesday class, they come in and they just seem very drained and very tired. And I'm glad that we're doing making your own story because it's not a lot of pressure on them. So, uh, but I talked to him about it. I'm like, hey, how did, how did the test go today? And they'd be like, it's fine. It's really tiring. It's boring. And they seem very stressed out, which I don't remember being stressed out as that much in like third grade or fourth grade or fifth grade. I don't remember being stressed out really about anything, even about the MSAs. Um, I know that I had to do well on them. But I knew that in the end, it didn't really affect me, which is kind of selfish, but I didn't take it as like a presentation in class I had to pay attention to. 
um, personal grades. But these these kids, they seem very stressed out about it. And that for me is bothersome because I deal with a lot of stress and anxiety and that didn't develop till high school. Uh, and no one should ever have to go through that. And these kids are developing stress and anxiety at such a young age because of PSSAs. And that's not the only thing, obviously. But it's, it's very hard for me to watch my students in ASAP like talk to me about the PSSAs and how stressful they are. And I, honestly, I do think that spreading them out over a two-week span was smarter for Pennsylvania. Uh, in Maryland, you do the MSAs in a few days, but you do them in such a, sh like, all day. And it's such a short period of time that you do them that you honestly don't know what happened because you go into school, you just take the MSA all day long, you go home, and you do the same thing for the next, like, three days. And when I got to middle school, that's when I got very stressed out about it because I, I wanted to show people that I was smart or that I could do this and also make my teachers proud. Um, but I am not a, t a good test taker, like I said. So uh, overall, I think that assessment is very important uh, for students, for parents, for teachers. Uh, state tests, I think, are important, even though I do think that the stress that comes with them is n not necessary, but I do understand. Um, but I think that assessments are important because they allow us to evaluate where students are. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks.